<laughs> What's up amigos? Welcome to Tank Builder. Now today I finally arrived to Festival Mexico 2019. Before we continue with the tour, I'm going to show you guys how I arrived here. Then we'll go on from there, so stay tuned. I'm gonna start right with my last spot, and from here, I'm gonna walk all the way to the convention center. Now, I could take a bus, but I'm not gonna do that because I'll explain to you right now when I get outside. All right, so I finally left the metro, and uh, luckily, I was able to get out because I always get confused when I step out. It's confusing, but, anyways, now normally I could take a bus to go to the convention center, and I looked it up on Google and it tells me a route, but as you can see, there's a lot of buses here, so I'm not even gonna bother trying to look for it. I might end up getting lost, so I figured out I might always walk. It's not that far, it's kind of like 30 minutes, 30 minute walk. But I'm used to it anyways. It's better than getting on one of these buses and end up somewhere else and taking longer. And right now, kind of early, right now it's 10 53 a.m. And the event starts at 12, so I have plenty of time to walk in. Yeah, look at all these buses here. Okay, now before I continue walking, I'm actually going to go find something to eat because I'm hungry. I haven't eaten all morning. I got done eating my little taco. And again, like I mentioned, it's like a 30 minute walk. And literally, I'm taking the long way, but I decided to take the same route because I already know it. Beautiful Mexico City. Right now, way north of Mexico City. And first, I want to mention is Mexico City. Oh my god, I love it. It's amazing. Huge city. And I've only been here a few times. And I remember the first time I was gonna come, I was gonna come with my sister and her nephew. And we told people that always tell, they told us they told you know you gotta be careful, you know there's a lot of thieves, especially in the subway. And when we came we were so careful, you know, hiding the money, you know, protecting our pockets. But then we arrived and it wasn't so bad. And then once I come by myself make the screen paint event from last year. I told everybody I was gonna come by myself and my parents they're all worried, you know, my boss telling you gotta be careful because where you're going there's a lot of things over there too, you know. It's a dangerous place. And when I got here I was a little bit nervous but I saw it and it feels pretty safe. I mean the thing that makes me feel more safe is I look around and I still have to with nice cars. Pretty impressive. So yeah so Hear people talking about that Mexico is dangerous. Well, there are chances you could get robbed, but that's in any other city. Other than that, I always enjoy coming here to Mexico City, man. I honestly wish I could live here. All right, we're here, amigos. Finally arrived. Let's go inside. Okay, amigos, I picked up my ID. I got my little bag, and I just gotta wait. Look at those long lines. Hey, guys. Okay, 
is the orange sign. I'm not really sure where to start. I'm not sure if I go through our screen printing first or check out the printers. But there's a lot of things to check out. that mostly people buy here in Mexico, Sanchez. Let me check this out. And uh, this press is a six color four station. Unfortunately, it doesn't have any micros, but it's 23,000 pesos plus Texas. And they say they do, they will chip it, but that'll be on my part. Pretty nice press, though. So I heard about these guys. I'm gonna check these guys out. I've seen them online. Oh, look at those screens, aluminum screens. Alright, you guys, so I like this company. It's Octopus Technologies, I guess. They have film, but unfortunately, they don't have um, sheets, they only have the roll. I mean, they have a lot of things. Check out, I like this press right here. I like this setup. It's a four color two station. And I like how you could, it has a place to hold your screens. And I'm actually gonna get in contact with them so I could buy some frames because they're telling me that these are pretty cheap here. I think they're like, I forgot already. <laughs> but some of they're like 500, 600, something like that. And the ones I bought from Goldo, they were like 700 for each one. So I'm definitely gonna hit these guys up. And they have the roller frames. They have the roller frames. They cost more, but one day I will get those. All right. And I find M&R. One off, I'm at. And that's our source one. Someone mentioned to me on that's what I was looking for aluminum screens. So I can check these guys out. The MNR Compared oven. The automatic press. Alright, Migos. This is pretty cool I found right now. It's a machine that prints directly to the, to the screen. So you don't use no emotion, you don't even have to wash it out. And basically, it's the, the mesh already has the kind of like a foot on it. And this machine, basically, it, how we say it, it washes out. But it's kind of like a printer. It's pretty weird. There's a company right here. One more time. Here's the screen. Okay. Okay. You might be thinking that it's open, but it's not. It's actually covered. And there's the phone right there. So basically, you don't have to tape that at all. There's no taping around the edges. Nothing because basically it's already all sealed up. Here are the details. I 
on this company. They're looking for a distributor here in Mexico. And these frames, they basically look exactly like gold dub. And that coder, basically I have the same one. So basically when I buy from, from China, this is, I guess, one of the suppliers. Alright, so I just got some new catalogs for this Optima. And I found some for Gilded. Got a free shirt from them. Pretty awesome. And I got the more... I don't know where I'm going. I could look for somewhere I haven't been. Find me a rope. everything. I'm just waiting for those automatics. Meanwhile, I'm gonna get something to eat.
Los que facilitan el trabajo de máquina. La estación convencional pura arriba de 150 grados. Las tiendas en máquina están en 135 grados. Es una excelente manera de ayudar a los impresores a evitar migración. En el momento que estén pidiendo cómo, cómo sube la tinta, cuál es el punto de registro, qué es la tinta tiene, con la tinta suficiente, con la velocidad y la mano de la cero en la Alright amigos, so I'm pretty much done. I'm about to leave. I still got like three hours for this to actually end, but I gotta go walk and catch the metro so I could catch my bus and also because my phone's about to die and I don't wanna be in this city with my phone dead, so yeah. So I already I got some pretty cool stuff, mostly shirts. Didn't get that much materials for screen printing. I got ink. And that's pretty much it, and a piece of film. But I'll show you guys when I get home, because I don't want to unpack everything here. So I'll catch you guys at the shop. Okay, amigos. So I'm finally back home here at the shop. I actually got here like around past midnight last night, and I'll be sleeping all morning. But I'll show you guys what exactly what I got at the FESPA event. And when you first go there, They'll give you this little bag. They'll give you a bag so you can put all your, you know, flash, all that kind of stuff that you get. And the first place I went to was with Grupo Sanchez, which is basically the Mexican um, brand here where they sell ink in motion and chemicals. I went with them first. Got back from them as well. And they gave me their their personal car. That way I could get in contact with him. Here's the flyer. The press. The press I saw you saw in the video earlier. Inks, their inks, their screens, you know, all the materials, squeegees, everything that they sell. The little catalog, which is a lot, man. There's more, there's little five where actually shows all the inks. And they have a lot of kinds of inks, different types of inks. So, see? Look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six types of inks they have carry. I got a free shirt. And they show me the. The ink that they use here, and he gave me a free sample along with the pen. <laughs> oh, yeah, so I've got some ink, it's called Ultra Poly White. So, I'm definitely gonna give this a try to see how it comes out. I'll probably I'll do a video of me testing this ink. So yeah, so I got that from them. I went to this guy right here, man. Octopus Technologies and I was really impressed by these ones because they literally had everything that all the you know the chemicals you know the squeegees you know scoop quarters the motion and the thing I like the most they had aluminum screens and asked them how much are your aluminum screens and he told me something like around like I can't remember exactly it's like 300 pesos just for the frame but with the mesh, it's gonna be like another 100, 200 pesos. So roughly like around like 500 pesos for the complete screen, which is really cheap compared to the ones I bought from Goldup, where each one cost me like around 700 pesos. And way cheaper than the ones I can find here locally from actual manufacturers here in Mexico. Cause those, are around, those run around like more than 700, 800 pesos. So I'm never gonna give you guys a call, especially because they're not working with easy way and I had someone from Instagram mention me that they're gonna be there and to check them out and I went and I went with, I ran into the guy in charge there I believe his name was Alex I saw their washout booth where is it at? well I saw that washout booth right there and then he told me that they're not working they're supplying now octopus so I could find their Watch out booth, their dip tank as well, and their motion remover that they use to you know, clean screens that they're gonna have it available now. So I'm definitely gonna check this guys out because these ones are from the US and you know they have a lot the US has a lot of good products. So I'm really impressed and that's something I've been looking for. And now I'm gonna have more easy access and luckily the guy gave me his actual 
his car. So all I can do is call him, tell him, give him my letter of what I want, and he'll give me a quote, and then I'll pay, you know, handle the shipping, and have it mailed to me here in my city, because a lot of people, they say they ship, but mostly in Mexico City, in between the area. And since I'm really far away, a lot of them don't ship, and the only way to do it is by placing order, you know, calling, you know. It's kind of more hassle, but with this guy, I, I'm willing to take that, you know, all that hassle, you know, to get some good products. Oh, I forgot. This is a car from Alex. Pretty cool. He actually seen one of my videos, so I'll give a shout out to EC Way. Some of my video of me reclaiming my screens with bleach. Checked out NASDAQ. I went with those guys. With them, I got a free shirt. Free for shirt. Kind of large, extra large. I'm a medium, so. But with those, with them, I got this. And right here, it actually shows the print. It shows the films. It shows the, where's that? The type of, the process, you know, where, you know, print, you know, flash, you know, print, print, flash, you know, and then print. It shows you the screen mesh that they use for those screens. And the actual ink that they use. Exactly, and they use full flex ink. Pretty cool. I'm trying to get a hold of that ink. More of them. The companies. That shirt was actually printed with the automatic, the MNR automatic. I, I really like seeing those automatic. It sounds so cool. It looks so cool seeing those automatics run. The ink shark, though, what's it called? International coating. The ink shark. I also went to check out t shirts. Because. If you've seen some of the videos where I mentioned that there's only like one supplier here. Well, there's actually two. One is still locally, but they don't really handle, you know, blanks at a wholesale price. They do it, but you have to buy a lot. And the other one is the aspect. That's the one I usually buy. I buy, um, I place my order through email and, you know, deposit in the bank, you know. That's what they use. And I try to look at other options besides them. I don't want to rely just on one. I want to go to offer more options to my clients and I ran into Gildan. I ran to them last year and they gave me a list of distributors but I checked all of them and they, I couldn't even find one that actually uh, shipped to me but this time I went with them and I got better answers. So first I got their catalog, got their color guy. And I asked them about if they ship, and they told me where, where I come from, and I told them my state, Guerrero, and they passed me to someone who basically distributes Gildan, and they do ship, and they asked them, do you guys ship to Guerrero? And they're like, yeah, no problem, you just, you know, send me a WhatsApp with your the shirts you want, and I'll give you the coat, and the shipping costs, and... You just deposit the bank, kind of like the aspect, the same thing, you know, deposit the bank, take a picture of the proof of, how's that, proof of deposit, and they'll ship it. And I got a free shirt from them. Killed it. So I'm definitely going to try, I'm going to buy some shirts of these, just to test them out. Okay, let me see. Okay. And the other one is Optima. This is the one that's actually here locally, but the store they have here is mostly like a fashion store, you know. Again, they don't really handle, you know, blanks. And I even told them, like, can I get a wholesale? And like, well, you could, but some of them don't really offer. And here at my one, I remember, yes, but a lot more than which is what they offered to get wholesale price here. I believe they said it was only 12 shirts, I think. 12 shirts to get wholesale price. I asked them, do you guys ship? And they, yeah, again, I got to call them, send an email, place my order, uh, make a deposit. And they'll ship it. And I got their new catalog. And here's more. I got a catalog for hats. For this brand. This uh some people here might say they use it. A little bit more than than Gildan and Yaspic, but again, won't hurt to have options. Maybe someone wants these brand of shirts. It's better to have them ready. Another brand. It's a shirt. More shirts, hats, backpacks. And that's pretty much it for the catalogs that I ran into. Then, what am I missing? 
Then I ran into Excel Inc. And they distribute also the Rock or Rock. I don't know how you pronounce it. Also the automatic. Pretty cool. Also the automatic folding. You wear the shirts, they fold automatic and they place in past the bag. And that's where I got the shirt. It's a free shirt. I ran to this company, CHF. Now they were here at the Mexico, the Festival Mexico event, looking for a distributor because they want to enter the market here in Mexico. They already had one in Florida, but they want to enter Mexico. And I'll see them. And you saw in the video where basically the screen it looks the same as the gold, you know, exactly the same. The squeegees that they sell, same as the ones I just ordered off Amazon. The scoop quarter, the same one I bought off eBay, exactly the same. I'm thinking so, yeah. I'm definitely gonna check this guy's out. I'm gonna see if I can order some supply. And I'm gonna see how their prices are. Maybe I could become a distributor. Even though I asked how much I would take to become a distributor and then say a large investment. But I could start small, you know. Simple stuff, probably start with scoop quarters and stuff. Another Chinese company. This one, I don't know what is digital printing. Here I saw their, they were selling films along with scoop quarters, spatulas, and mesh. Yeah, I got a free sample, just one, a screen printing film. This is my first time actually holding some real screen printing film. I still don't know what I'm going to do with this one again. But yeah, and I talked to them, they don't have a distributor here in Mexico. The only you gotta buy, you gotta order online and buy from um, China. The only bad thing is you have to a bag transfer, no PayPal, no credit card. Kind of sucks. But I'm just gonna give them a try because there's no minimum. You can buy whatever you want. You can buy just one thing or something, and they'll ship it with FedEx or DHL, which is more comfortable. That went on to wait like two weeks. I mean, two months for something from China to arrive. So yes, yeah, so I definitely can check these guys out online. And that's pretty much it. I mean, there's a lot of companies that went. You can see all the, these are all the companies. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. And unfortunately, I didn't get anything else. There was one store last year where I went where it's a local supply store in Mexico City. And there's one, they're the ones that hooked me up with the motion and ink remover, but this year they didn't attend. So that was a bummer. Alright, so that's all for today's video. Kind of long, but pretty cool, you know. I hope you guys enjoy seeing the Festival Mexico event. And I'm still happy with the things I got, especially the info, the suppliers that I got in contact with. We'll definitely be checking those, out, those guys out to buy some new shirts, especially gilding shirts and the octopus uh, supply store. I'm going to be buying some, you know, materials from them. See how they are because I need to upgrade my little shop here, man. I gotta stop using, you know, homemade do it yourself stuff. So, yes, yeah, so check those guys out. And again, you guys, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. But don't forget to subscribe, follow my Instagram, and like my Facebook page. In the meantime, I'll see you guys next time.